Hello friends, welcome to my channel and thank you so much for joining me today. So today's video is going to be a try to get ready with me video. We're going to be talking about my impending trip to Vegas for Creator and Friends Christmas party. We're going to be talking about Black Friday. We're going to be talking about Thanksgiving. We're going to be talking about Delilah on, and just a whole bunch of other things. So I'm super excited about this video today because I am wearing two new palettes. Um, this is the second or third time I've worn these and I always combine them. These are from the brand Ladybug Glow, and they are the Krampus Eve and Krampus Continued palettes. You will see these palettes in action in the Get Ready portion of this video. I am excited to support this brand. Amanda, who is the owner of this brand, actually lives in the city next to me. She is from Citrus Heights. I'm from Roseville. It is exciting. When I found that out, I literally fell out of my chair. I was almost more excited about that than I was about the palettes, but the palettes are quality. I mean, look at the look I look created. This is what you're gonna see me create. So I hope you guys will stick around and watch. So be sure to like this video. Okay, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I don't do a lot of get ready with me's, but I do like to talk about eyeshadow palettes. That's my favorite topic with makeup. I love indie eyeshadow palettes and I'm really in love with this brand and I'm like super thrilled to support them, especially because Amanda's like literally my neighbor. She like probably lives five miles from me. I'm not even joking you. And um, I'm super excited about that. So also guys, if you wouldn't mind, please, be sure to watch this video all the way through. If you want to just hear me do the get ready portion and you want to hear what I have to say and you don't care about the makeup and you don't care about watching me put it on, I have a lot of stuff that I wanted to tell you about. So go ahead and just listen to it. And at the end, you know, just, you know, maybe leave me a, um, there's no Krampus emoji. But Krampus is, you know, like leave me a Christmas tree. Krampus is a Christmas thing. He's kind of like an evil goat kind of like, he, you know, rounds up all the naughty kids, I think. I, I don't know the whole Krampus um, legend, but it's a Christmas thing. But he's supposed to be like kind of an evil goat hybrid, like, he, you know, Santa's evil twin kind of scenario. So I don't really know much about him. There was a Krampus movie, but see, I don't like scary movies. So, you know, then I didn't watch it. So there's that. So anyway, we're going to get ready now. So stay tuned and here we go. Okay guys, we're going to be doing a get ready with me as I mentioned in the beginning and I also told you I'm going to be using the Ladybug Glow um, Krampus Eve and Krampus Continued palettes. These palettes are so cute and I'm so excited to feature them on this channel. I found out after I ordered these that the owner of this brand, this is a small Etsy brand, is from Citrus Heights, California, which is the city that is next to mine. So I'm super excited. She's so sweet and I'm so thankful that I bought these and I cannot wait to buy more of her palettes because I will forever support this brand, especially since she's my neighbor. I cannot wait to meet her. I hope I meet her someday, but uh, she didn't send these to me. I bought them and they are so cute. <clears throat> okay, so uh, let me show you real quick. Now I'm gonna be really, really careful with this one because I got a glue the shade in because she sent this originally the shade that came in this was um, um, not good quality so she sent this sent this single so I ripped the other one out but it didn't pop out right away so I have to glue this one in because it's not magnetic um, and then or at least it doesn't I just have to put some glue on the back or a magnet on the back but this is the Krampus continued this is so cute this one has a lot of shimmers in it this one has five shimmers and four mattes. And I love the color story. I love the browns, the greens, um, and, and, and um, yeah, the browns, the greens, and the blues. So pretty, I love this palette. So we're gonna be using that, and we're gonna be using the Krampus Eve palette. So this one is predominantly matte with a single like um, multifaceted shade, kind of like an iridescent shade. Um, I would call it more iridescent. Um, it looks like, you know, it's got, it almost looks like a rainbow shade when you look at it from the side. Like I see a purple, then I see a green, then I see, um, then I see yellow, then I see pink. So it's like a shade that you swirl all together, but it's like a rainbow kind of like iridescent shade. Super excited. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to film the opposite way. I just, I just am too lazy to move my mirror around and, um, uh, I just feel more comfortable sitting at my desk since I can have everything in front of me. I've got my Trader Joe's water. Um, this one is Winter Sangria. This is their winter flavor. 
and it's delicious. So we're gonna do a full face today. And um, the only thing you're not gonna see on camera are brows, and liner, and mascara, um, because that just is a lot of extra time that none of us have. So um, I'm gonna do the Wet n Wild um, uh, Photo Focus um, Dewy Luminous Foundation today. And I'm just going to start dotting that on my face. Okay, so this is kind of a chatty get ready with me. I'm gonna be doing the Ladybug Glow Palettes. Um, so I'm super excited because a week from Saturday, I leave to go to Vegas, and I am going to Vegas with a bunch of other creators, or they're going to be there as well. Um, and Angie's gonna be there, and that'll be fun. We will get to see each other again. Really enjoy spending time with her. I will get to meet her bestie, um, Heather Austin. I will also get to meet Kay, Belly, Kay Bella Beauty. I'll get to meet Samantha March, and of course, I'm hoping she's gonna come my girlfriend Annette. I talked to Karen, she can't make it. I talked to Linda, she can't make it. Um, Rachel Palmieri is not gonna be able to make it. Um, I'm thinking Lauren May Beauty might be there too. Do not know who else is gonna be there, but I'm super excited. I got an outfit yesterday and um, it's really, really stylish and chic. Um, it's a jumpsuit I got from Nordstrom Rack and it's a black one-piece jumpsuit and it's um, kind of like, um, palazzo leg like a wide leg um looks kind of like a suit like because it's it you know it has a collar and then it has a bow sash one of the bow loops um or one of the belt loops is busted but i don't really like belt loops anyway i think they're kind of tacky looking so i probably am just going to remove those and then we will uh, go from there but i bought, bought a pair of shoes too um i don't have a lot of accessories so i'm gonna have to either borrow some from somebody or i'm going to have to go buy those as well which i'm trying not to do that because i don't wear a lot of jewelry so i'd rather just borrow it from somebody or get it on loan or who knows I'll blend this out with the, the um elf um clean collection brush the duo ended the duo ended one the maya i've never attached the other end back onto this I just never have because I just don't know where it is and it just I'm lazy and I need crazy glue I definitely need to get crazy glue for this Krampus continue palette I love that shade um, so that it's like a brown like a deep deep dark brown chocolatey espresso glitter it's really really pretty um, and um, the shade that she had had in there originally it was so hard pressed and you couldn't really pick it up even on your finger. It was very dry. So she sent, with the palette, she sent a replacement for that shadow. It's the same color, but the formula is much better. So I just need to glue that in. So while I glue that in, maybe I'll glue on the end of this brush if I can find it, because I don't even know where it is. Okay, so um, getting this blended in. So anyway, um, so tomorrow's Thanksgiving, and um, I don't know about you guys, but there are some really crazy sales for Thanksgiving, and I am definitely taking advantage of some of those sales, for sure. I've already bought eight palettes, <laughs> and I know that sounds crazy, but um, that is what I've done. I'm going to get my, I've been using this a lot, the um, LA Girl, um, uh, or LA Colors Conceal It. I forgot I even had this. It's like it's like the LA Girl Concealers. It's very similar with that tube packaging with the brush tip. And I've been using this e.l.f. Um, color corrector under my eyes as well. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna use those two items. And I'm gonna do the color corrector first. Um, so, um, so let me just tell you what I'm planning to buy. So I bought all of the Fantasy Cosmetica palettes. Now, I already had two, but I'm gifting a friend um, the um, Druid and the Bard palette that I already have because I'm getting new ones. And so I decided to ask a friend of mine if she wanted them. And um, she said, oh yeah, I totally do. Thank you so much. And I said, yeah, because I'm getting the new ones. And the reason why I'm getting all of those palettes um, it's because they are all magnetic and the pans are removable. And so what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to start a new series on my channel that's similar to the JBS Play series that I used to do, um, where I'm going to do kind of palette bingo style or um, building my own palettes. Um, it's going to be like a 
it's going to be called Fantasy, Fantasy Friday or something like that. And I'm just going to basically um, make that whole series revolve around Fantasy Cosmetica because I love their eyeshadow formula. I think that they're an amazing brand. I love their color stories. I even got the Sorcerer palette, which I didn't think I was going to do. But when I found out from Amanda from Makeup Just For Fun that all of the pans were removable and you could shift things around, I was like, oh, no, 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 I need all of those now. <laughs> like, because I can, I can customize a palette. I like the idea of customizing a palette. I like the idea of having every eyeshadow palette come with removable pans so that you could just take the shades that you want. Because I don't like to buy single shadows, but I have a series coming up based around sh single shadows as well, which is kind of crazy. You'll see it's all coming. And we're going to be doing Palette Tournament of Champions to you guys. Are you ready for that? Do you remember that from last year? So yes, I bought all the Fantasy Cosmetica palettes. I also bought from Glam Light the Camp Crystal Lake palette and the Ghost Face palette um, from their horror series. And I know, I just don't even understand me and why I'm, I just, I just dot a big glob of that on the back of my hand because um, I use this under my eyes, on my forehead, my nose, and my chin, and like my Cupid's bow. So I'm going to take my e.l.f. concealer brush, dipping that into there, and I just, you know, do that whole concealer placement that everybody keeps doing, but I actually, I still, I still heavily conceal. I don't know why. I just, I guess I'm used to it. I just feel like I know I've got a lot of darkness there, even with the color correcting, so I just go ahead and continue to conceal heavily, because I, I, I just feel better that way, but... Anyway, I started using this brush again because I was using this concealer specifically. And um, yeah, and I, I've always loved this brush. I do find that I have to wash it often. So once I apply it, I go over it with a sponge. So I'm going to be going to, after this video, I'm going to go on to Juvia's Place website. And I'm not going to buy any palettes from Juvia's Place. Um, I was thinking about it, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy their liquid blushes because they're 50% off. And that's not with a code or anything. That's just that's just fifty percent off. And I don't know if they're code stack. And if they do, um, I, if they if if a code stacks on top of fifty percent off, I'm gonna get five blushes. If it doesn't stack, I'm gonna get four. And I just have to pick the colors that I want. Um, I want their liquid blushes. I mean, go figure. You guys should already be aware of how obsessed I am with liquid and cream cheek products now. Um, so. I'm definitely going to go and get myself a few of those. I was thinking about getting the Afro-Galactic palette too, and I might, but I don't know. I don't really need it, and I'm getting so many other palettes. So tomorrow morning, you guys, um, tomorrow morning um, at bright and early, if you're on the West Coast like me, sorry for you, but bright and early, um, Odin's Ice um, Stale starts. So Odin's Eyes sale starts uh, for me at 7 a.m. And code stack on this. Not on collabs. Um, the collabs are all going to be 30% off, but their other palettes are going to be like 40 to 50% off and code stack. Um, so if you have a, a friend or an influencer that you like, do you please use their code and stack. I plan on getting the Solon 2 the Yours Divine, um, Jewels and Gems, Stone and Rock, and the Norns palette. So I'm planning on getting all four of those. Um, I know, I mean, who even am I? This is just a crazy time of year. Um, and uh, my dad gave me some birthday money, and so I'm spending it. Um, so then there is Blend Bunny. And Blend Bunny is having a sale um, on the 20, from the 24th to the 26th, and it's 35% off. Um, I don't think you can stack codes on that, but I plan on getting the Sickly Sweet and potentially the Forget Me Not, but I don't know. I'm not really interested in the Lure palette. I thought that I was, but it's really like, I don't need that palette. Um, I have the, um, I thought about the blends too, but I don't want a rainbow palette. And everybody's like, oh, but it's the ultimate rainbow palette. I'm like, I don't need it. Um, so I have Surge Dollhouse, um, Sickly Sweet, uh, Sugar, Sugar and Spice, or what, Sugar and Grunge, 
and all done up and I have the Trove palette. So I definitely want to add the Sickly Sweet to my collection and so I'm planning to do that. So I think that's the extent of it. I don't think I'm going to do anything other than that. I thought about doing something from Unearthly but I still just cannot justify spending the uh, prices that Unearthly charges and I wanted to do Ensley Rain as well but I can't do that either. It's just they're just out of my price range. So I'm just going to go ahead and pass on those brands this year. I did want to do Bella Beauté Bar, but their palettes are also kind of expensive. Um, and I missed the Cosmic Brushes sale. So, um, yeah, it is what it is. But, you know, you win some, you lose some. I'm going to be excited. I might also pick up the Tokyo Harajuku palette from um, Nomad because I think they're discontinuing it. And one of my subscribers mentioned in the comments they mentioned to me that um that is a good that is a good palette to use with royal europe and i thought oh for that reason alone i should get it and i probably i think i'm gonna pick it up um elf is also having a sale um 30 off i remember elf used to have 50% off sales and I would take advantage of them every single time But there are some elf products that I do want I do need to do an elf dedicated video So I'm not going to talk about the products that I want from elf right now I'm going to wait until I do a ded dedicated elf wish list video for that because um, There's there's just a lot <laughs> and so I think I just better wait and hold off on that. So I am so excited about Vegas. I did not think I was going to be going. Um, I wanted to go and I had mentioned it a while back to my husband and, you know, and we were, you know, we've been going through a lot since June, um, you know, with Delilah being sick and everything. Um, and, you know, I thought to myself, I'm like, oh, you know, I, I had originally mentioned it to him just briefly and then passing and I think he kind of said, well, I don't really think, you know, we can be doing anything like that right now. And he doesn't remember saying that, but he said he didn't. He said he was never opposed to me going. So he said, yeah, go ahead and go. And I was just like, okay, well, I will if you're okay with it. I think we're going to, in the interest of time, we're going to do powder products today because... Um, cream products take a little bit longer to blend out and we just want to have the video be not too long because yeah we all got preparations to make for Thanksgiving where is everybody going for Thanksgiving I am hosting Thanksgiving at my house um, for years and years and years my we would go to my mom and dad's house and we don't have a lot of extended family here and we don't really have a large family. It's always just been my parents and my brothers and I and my brothers, neither of them are married and Delilah is my only taught, my only child. So she's like the only grandchild. So we never really had like huge, huge, huge family um, celebrations. But um, we would, for many, many years, we would have it at my mom and dad's house. Uh, and in recent memory, um, in recent times, I have um, really kind of put my foot down <clears throat> because I, <clears throat> my mom and dad are elderly and their house is very um, old um, and untidy and it's almost kind of unsafe. And for me, who's very kind of OCD and neat and keeps no clutter and declutters before I, before I, you know, gather new things my mom and dad's house gives me anxiety and it makes me actually physically ill so I literally have told them I'm like well I cannot go to your house for Thanksgiving anymore and it became a huge deal and and uh, I, I told them I said I just can't do it and now with especially with Delilah being sick um, it's become the it's come to the point where um, I'm going to use this e.l.f. Cool Bronzer. I, I still always love this bronzer. I wish they still sold it. And I always focus on these two shades right here. I sometimes focus on that white, but I focus mostly on these three shades right here. On this angled brush that I got from a BH Cosmetics set. And then you know I love pigmented bronzer, so I really go. I really get my brush in there and I really go to town. This is not my most pigmented bronzer, but I love the tone of it. So I just build it up. So my parents' home is 
just rather, it's rather um, difficult for me to be in. Um, my mom is also elderly and it has a harder time getting around and cooking and and my parents also have a tendency to eat really, really late. Like most people have Thanksgiving dinner around like three or four. In my house growing up, it would be like eight or nine o'clock at night. And that is just like, my husband's like, nope, we can't wait that long to eat. And I'm like, no, we can't. Um, but we would watch a lot of football. We drink, we listen to music, we, you know, goof around and everything. And over the years, it just got kind of harder and harder for us to go over there. But now that Delilah is sick, um, it's imperative that she does not go over to that house. At her immune system, she is at such high risk for infection um, with uh, this leukemia um, that it really, she cannot and will not go over to my parents' house. And I pretty much put my foot down like ever again until my parents can get somebody in there to come in there and help them declutter and clean and get everything out of the house and sanitize it. Delilah cannot go over there anymore. And I'm not trying to be mean. I just want my kid to stay safe. And it's just a biohazard zone. It really, really is. And I hate to say that, but it totally is. Okay, so see, I'm, I, 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 I need that pigment. I'm all about the pigment. So anyway, so back to Vegas. Uh, he's like, no, no, well, you should go. And I was just like, really? And he goes, yeah. And so, of course, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So... I'm going to be, I'm going to be, you know, that, you know, that creator, that small creator that, you know, you know, doesn't have as many subscribers, but you know, I got invited because, you know, it was open to any creator, you know, you just had to, you just had to register for it. And, you know, Samantha's been nice, not, lovely and has emailed me and she's like, I'm just looking forward to meeting you. And it's, you know, it'd be good to finally meet you, blah, 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 blah. Um, thanks for signing up. We can't wait for you to come to Creator and Friends, and you know, it's just, I feel like a good vibe. And I've talked to Angie a little bit, um, and uh, she said, uh, she's like real excited too. So her and Heather are coming together, they're staying together, and I think Ke Kelly is staying with them. Um, I don't know where everybody's staying, I know that I'm just staying at Harrah's, I, I'm not doing any Bellagio, Cosmopolitan, Venetian, any of that expensive hotels, I'm just staying at Harrah's. And um, trying to make this as cost effective as possible because let me tell you, going to Vegas is expensive. Um, it's football season. Um, they just had this Formula One there. So there's a lot going on in Vegas. It's a very, very popular place to go. Um, and they really, really upcharge you for everything. So let's pick a blush. We're going to do a, um, we're going to do one of the e.l.f. blushes today. One of the little um, bite sized blushes. Let me just pick one. And I have no, I have no idea what color I'm gonna pick. I have seven of them. I thought, yeah, I have seven. I have almost every shade. I really want to do the, I want to do the pomegranate one. Is this the pomegranate one? Yeah, pomegranate, the deepest, the deep kind of like berry shade. That's the one, one that I want to do. I love the highlights in these. I don't know why people don't talk about these. I think they are phenomenal really really phenomenal i mean i know that liquid and cream cheek products are all the rage and i do love the putty blushes and i do love the blush sticks don't get me wrong like elf is my favorite like i love them for cheek products but i just nobody talks about these i mean seriously underrated and even the highlight i can wear it looks a little deep but i can totally pull it off um so just load up my brush i gotta tap this off because i know i've got a lot of pigment on there but i do have a lot of pigment on my cheeks from um, from, um, my, uh, what you call it? My bronzer. So I don't know about the elf sale. I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to get anything, but I am going to do a dedicated elf video soon. And I really want to try Moira Cosmetics and I also want to try Catrice. So those are two brands that I've had on my list for a long time that are bargain brands that I really want to try. Um, because, uh, everybody talks about Moira. So yeah, so let's just do the other cheek. I love these blushes. I just can't. I'm like, why nobody talks about these? I just don't know. I don't get it. So Vegas, I'm super excited. So I'm flying, I'm just flying in on Saturday and I'm staying, I'm staying through till Monday. Um, I'm sure, I'm sure that we will have the party and then if anybody else wants to get together and do anything, they will. Me, I'm more just interested in going to the party. If I 
if I get together and do anything with anybody else after that, I would kind of like to just spend the day with Annette maybe on Sunday, um, going and doing something. Um, I'm not a big gambler person, so for me, like, or club person, so the idea of doing any of that is not super appealing to me. Um, but, um, yeah, I might just, you know, um, see if Annette wants to go thrifting or do any of that stuff. Or, you know, maybe I'll just go to brunch with everybody or, you know, because Sam knows where everything is and she just, you know, is always going to all these cool places. Um, so it's always, she's a wealth of, like, places to go in Vegas. So I'm sure she'll tell us all where to go and maybe we'll all go do stuff together. Who knows? But I'm excited. I really just cannot wait to meet Samantha um, and Heather and everybody, really. I've talked to Kelly. Um, K Bell Beauty and she's like oh yeah she goes oh exciting I'm so excited to meet you Linda I messaged her the other day and I was like she's like no I can't make it I'm like because mm -hmm. I've known Linda for a long time like we, we've never met each other but I don't know if you guys how long you guys have been subscribed to this channel but Linda and I'm talking about glitter fallout Linda Linda and I were both featured in a video from Jen loves reviews and Jen Jen lives in Maryland and so does Linda and so they're friends, and I remember that um, Jen was trying to help smaller creators um, by, you know, talking about smaller creators you should look out for. Well, I mean, I was one of those people. I think Hot Mess Mama Four was um, was was part of that, and I still talk to Rhonda too here and there. Um, of, of all those people, I think my channel, is, you know, it, it just didn't it hasn't been as successful as some of the other channels, but. To be honest with you, I really am not about that life. Like, I would really, the only thing I would like more about, um, you know, about having a bigger audience is maybe getting some PR because I don't really necessarily want to make a lot of money from YouTube, but I wouldn't mind getting some PR because makeup is expensive and, you know, having a channel is expensive and you, when you don't have PR, you have to buy everything. That's, that's, that's a lot. <laughs> so... I don't really have that kind of money. I mean, obviously, I just told you I'm going to do a big Black Friday haul, but I got I got a gift from my dad, so for my birthday, and and, um, and so anyway, that's what we're doing. So um, let's start with the eyes, okay? So we talked about Black Friday. We talked about Vegas. Talked about um, Elf Wishlist video. Talked about Thanksgiving. Um, let's talk about Delilah. Okay, so let's. Um, Okay, I'm gonna start with Krampus Eve, I think. Um, let me open both of these. I want to do a kind of like, I think like a blue. Let's see. I'm gonna start with Krampus Eve and I'm going to take this shade right here. Now, none of these shades are named. I'm fine with that. I don't. I can't ever read the names anyway. I love this shade right here. This deep kind of dusty, dark kind of grayish blue. I'm going to take that on my um, Clover Collection flat brush. And I'm just going to start packing that in the outer corner. Oh, beautiful. I love this color. Oh, 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 oh it's so pretty. Oh, my God. I love that. I love that. So, Delilah just last Thursday, so almost a week ago, started her next round of chemo. And she is doing methotrexate. And so once a week she has a, um, I think it's main or maybe it's once every other week because she didn't have one this week. So next week she has another infusion of methotrexate. And so she has to be admitted every time she has an infusion of methotrexate, um, which is, really heinous. I hate it. But anyway, I didn't do my brows yet. I'm going to do my brows after I do my eyes. Um, because then, um, then you guys, uh, then I'll show you at the end what lip color I use because it's just easier for me if I do it that way. Oh, I love this color. Oh, this is so pretty. It's, it's kind of got a hint of green to it, but it's, but it's more blue than green. It's such a pretty color. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm obsessed. I mean, I think I have this color like in the, uh, I'll have to swatch it next to the the um, Ghost Town USA. But this one doesn't appear as blue-gray. This one's like more like blue-green, dark blue-green. 
but it doesn't look as teal as the color of, of like this one looks more blue and this one looks more green you know what I mean but do you see what I'm talking about on my eyes okay I'm gonna just stop I'm gonna just finish packing that on okay I think it's so pretty okay so then I what I've started to do is I've tried, started to take a little tiny blending brush and just blending the edges of that before I add a crease color to even blend it out further so I just take this and this is another clover brush I really need some new brushes I am so cheap I what I need to do is I need to buy brushes I should buy brushes instead of makeup but you know what what I do is I just take really good care of my brushes I wash them with gentle soap and um, they've lasted a long time so as long as I keep taking care of them I'm just gonna not worry about buying brushes right now I do want to buy some rougher brushes I'm not gonna lie about that so but there's so many palettes that I want I mean if you guys saw my wishlist video obviously I've talked about a lot of palettes from the wishlist video that I'm now going to to get so so look see I just softened that a little bit with this little brush and I'll go back and add more if I need to but just soften it so anyway um, so she's got the truck state so right now her she had labs today her counts are really good she had a, a, a neutrophil count of 1500 and um, she didn't need a hemoglobin transfusion nor did she need a platelet transfusion but this poor thing one of the big side effects of this particular chemo is um, mouth sores so her lips are scabbed and and bleed and, and have you know from sores from blood and it's really hard <sighs> It's really, really hard um, because she she already doesn't have an appetite, but she just doesn't want to put anything in her mouth because her mouth is full of sores. So she has to do biotine three times a day, and so then she has to um, they have to you know has to flush you know, we have to flush her mouth um, from the biotine. So you know with with the biotine three times a day, so it's just a lot. Um, okay, I think I'm going to go into Krampus Continued. I have to be very careful when I hold this up because this shade is not glued in. I'm going to take this Periwinkle shade. So this is a, this is the opposite palette. So I'm going to take that Periwinkle shade on my Luxie brush. I'm going to take that on my Luxie point. Camera cut off. Okay, that little Periwinkle shade and the Luxie pointed blending brush. And I'm going to start blending over the top of this shade. This shade does it has some green in it so it, I mean if I, I suppose this would look better if it was more blue than it was green because it really is kind of deceptive I think it, it appears more bluish gray but when you put it on the eyes it's more of a grayish green but I still like this effect that I have here with this with this periwinkle and that shade so anyway so Delilah's counts are doing good but she's got these mouth swords and um so she has a feeding tube, so that's good. So I, you know, she doesn't want to eat regular food, but we've been able to put a lot of weight on her since she got the G-tube. So we're very thankful for that, but I'm just thankful she didn't have to be admitted prior to Thanksgiving. I thought, you know, when I took her to the doctor today, she just seemed really out of it. And I was just like, oh God, this is not good. And I was like, no, no, no. So anyway. Um, okay, so I'm just taking a little bit more of that periwinkle shade. Okay. So, it's a periwinkle shade. Now I'm going to go in and I'm going to add a little bit more of that dark blue that we had laid down first on that blending brush. Just to make sure that I deepen that crease back up. And make sure that I still didn't lose any of that color that, was, that I had laid down originally. Sometimes it dusts away a little bit when I use that blending brush. Okay. Now I'm going to take the color switch. I really use the same brushes over and over and I just wash them every time I use them. I have this, you know, shea butter soap over here and I just wash them every time. That way um, they're clean and I've always managed to avoid eye infections because I just clean my brushes religiously. So there's that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually take this green shade, this really, really pretty bright green shade and I'm going to blend that into the uh, into the front of my crease and towards that blue on that same Lexi brush. See, just like that. 
such a pretty color. Oh my god, I love this palette. Ladybug Glow. Her name is Amanda. She owns and operates this brand by herself. It's an Etsy brand. You can find her on Etsy. I'm going to link her store. I know she has a Black Friday sale and um, she's done other palettes, but they sell out. And then once they sell out, I don't think she restocks them, but oh, this is so pretty. I love this green. This is like one of my favorite greens I've ever used. I can tell you right now. I don't know. It's just a special green. Special. It's very special. I feel weird without my brows done. I usually do my brows before I do my eyeshadow, but I didn't, this, I didn't today because I just want to get all the steps done that I know that I'm going to get done on camera. And then that way you guys can just see towards the end. Okay, so I'm just going to wipe that brush off a little bit again. And I am just going to ever so slightly, ever so slightly, take this shade right here, this blue, this blue right here, and I'm just going to just bridge those two shades together. I swear, so you don't need a fancy color switch. I got this from e.l.f. for $4, okay? And I'm just gonna, oops, I need my mirror, sorry. I'm just gonna bridge those two shades together with that kind of bluish. Cause this has more of a periwinkle out here, so I can kind of, mesh those two together without it looking like too harsh. So that's what I'm working with. Okay, and I'm just going to really quickly add a little bit more of that periwinkle, use the color switch again, just to kind of intensify it a little bit. Bring some more of that baby blue back into the mix. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my glitter primer brush and I'm going to put some glitter primer on my lids and then I'm going to go check on Delilah real quick because she was getting a feed and when we took her to the clinic today, um, I showed the doctor that she was, you know, she's kind of having some skin irritation and they said that that's kind of common with the methotrexate. And so they told me to give her some Benadryl. So. Um, she's probably going to get really sleepy. So I'm going to go ahead and just on every portion of my eye lid that does not have any shadow on it, but just on my lid, I am going to put down some NYX Glitter Primer. I use this all the time. I, are, I already have a backup of it. I thought it was almost out, but this, this these tubes last me a pretty long time. I don't do my makeup every day. I just don't have time for that. But when I do, sometimes I just sit down and do it just for the hell of it because I'm like bored or I have nothing to do which is rare but okay so there's that let me go check on Miss D and I'll be right back and we'll put some shimmers on the lid it's perfect timing her food just ran out so yeah so let's put that glitter primer away and we are going to get out our Clover Collection lid brush and I'm just gonna let that get a little bit tackier so basically yeah she's just she's She's definitely having a hard time. She's talking like she's, you know, she's got, I, she probably just has a lot of blood in her mouth from the sores, but she's, you know, very garbled speech and stuff like that. But it was cute. Like we got home from the hospital and she actually, um, she actually uh, is a lot more to say, you know, and was rich and energetic. She just hates being there. And, and I, I, I can't say that I blame her. I really can't say that I blame her. So let's get to the lid shades now. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I am actually going to take this. Um, let's see. I'm going to take this shade over here, this kind of sagey green right here. And I'm not sure if these are duochromes, any of them. I think this one is for sure. This one has kind of like a purple brown shift, which is actually really pretty. Maybe I should use that. No, I'm gonna use this one today. This one right here. And I'm gonna use that one first. I'm gonna just load my brush up. The formula, I've already used these palettes um, a couple of times and I love the looks I've created and they're absolutely stunning. I think that she has a really good formula for you know her doing this by herself and having this little brown on Etsy. Super, I'm glad people are talking about her and I hope that, I hope that she continues to do well because I really, 
really, really like these palettes. They're very, very, very good quality. Great color stories and, you know, it's a, it's a small brand and these small brands, I, you know, I don't know where they learn <laughs> all of their, get all their skills from. They just, you know, kind of brew, brew some, look at this pretty green, you guys. Oh my gosh, so pretty. Look at that. Oh, stunning. Smooth, shiny, beautiful shimmer. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I absolutely love it. I love it so much. It's just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Put it on the other eye. We're going to take that almost all the way into the front, but not quite. We're just going to leave that little corner portion. So I'm going to actually spread this out a little bit more. I'm going to add a, I'm going to go back in with that flat brush with the blue just to make sure that I've meshed the blue and the green. But then I'm just going to flip that brush over to the other side and I'm going to go into the Krampus Eve palette and I'm going to take the center shade, which is that iridescent shade. And I'm just going to load that up, spray. All I use is water. I've had this little wet and wild um, um, natural finish spray bottle that I just keep refilling. I do not get anything fancy for, I don't get anything fancy for um, spray. Okay, look at that. Can we, can we just pause for, oh my gosh. I can see the pink and the yellow. Beautiful shade, oh, it's so pretty. So, so pretty. I absolutely love these palettes. Amanda, you're amazing. I'm, 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 I'm here for it and I'm 100% on board with your brand. I will support you forever. As long as you continue to make palettes, I will buy them. I'm serious, you guys. This is a great brand. You really need to try Lady Book. I mean, these palette, this palette, these two palettes that I have right here, absolutely still, oh my gosh. Okay. So let's just add a lower, lid, lower lash line shade and then I'm gonna do liner, mascara, brows, and lip color off camera. And then we will come back at the end. But let us do the, oops. Oh, you know what I need to do first? I want to take a little bit more of the dark, dark, um, dark outer corner shade and just tap it over. Make sure that I don't, that green goes into it, but doesn't like take it over. Okay. And then we'll just uh, smooth that green right into it. Okay, so we have the little Luxie um, slanted brush that I like to use. I am just going to go ahead and do another shade from Krampus Eve, and, and it's going to be this bright blue shade. I'm going to do this bright blue shade under the under the lower lash. I never thought in a million years I'd become a blue green girl, but I really have, and it's kind of like a frightening to me. Um, but I really have embraced it, and I'm so here for it, and I'm so glad that I decided to finally give blue and green a chance. Green, I'm more is more my speed than blue, but when you do it right, okay guys, so I'm gonna add liner, mascara, brows, and a lip color, and I will be back to show you the final look. Okay, hang on. Okay guys, here's the final look. So the lip color that I use today is Purity. It's from Nude Sticks. I do not know if this is a permanent color, but I got this in a set of three in one of their little mini tins. Um, they're little mini lip crayons, and I love the formula of these. I have six Nude Sticks crayons like this. Um, three of them are more of a creamy formula, and three of them are, are a, more of a matte formula. I like the creamy ones better than the matte ones, but I love them all. I just love that it's kind of like a lip liner, lip color all in one. Super, super easy to apply, and I just love the color of this. So I didn't wear any lip gloss over it, um, but yeah, so I added some uh, white waterline um, pencil from uh, in the shade Exit from ColourPop. I added the Midnight Blue liquid liner from e.l.f. and some mascara and of course my pomade in my brows. So that's my final look. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I hope you have a blessed and happy Thanksgiving. Um, when this video goes live, it will be Thanksgiving. So please be, um, be so thankful for all that you have. And 
bless others and you know like I always say be kind to yourself be kind to others go out in the world and love others as Jesus has loved you and um, I hope you all have a blessed day with your families and that you just enjoy every single tradition and um, make so many new memories this year. I love you all so, so much. I'm thankful for every single one of you. I appreciate you being here. I appreciate you being part of the DMB crew. If you aren't yet already, I hope you'll think about subscribing. I'd love to have you be part of this team, this family that I've created here on YouTube because you guys are awesome and amazing and I love you, Bora Hey Finger Hearts. I purple you. That's what I just said. You're awesome and amazing and I love you. Okay, so thanks so much, guys. Happy Thanksgiving to you all and I'll catch you in my next video. Okay, bye.